Hello students. Today we will learn two systems. First, circulatory system, then excretory system. So let's start first circulatory system. Circulatory system means the process by which blood is circulated throughout our body. The chief organ is heart and blood vessels are also involved. There are two types of blood vessels are present, veins and artery. So first see the structure of heart. It is conical shaped. A cover called pericardium is covered the heart and there is a fluid present in the pericardial cavity that is called pericardial fluid. It has four chambers in human, two auricles left and right and two ventricles left and right. In between this auricles and ventricles, an aperture is present which is called auriculoventricle aperture. And this auriculoventricle aperture is guarded by a valve. There are two valves present in between left auricle and left ventricle. This valve is called the bicuspid valve as there are two flaps are present. And in between right auricle and right ventricle, there is tricuspid valve is present that is Three flaps are present. That's why it is called tricuspid valve. So this is the all over the structure of the heart. Now come to the veins and artery. We know generally artery um, carries the oxygenated blood and veins carry the deoxygenated blood. There is an exception. The pulmonary veins carry the oxygenated blood and the pulmonary artery carries the deoxygenated blood okay now see how blood is circulated through the heart first the uh, one thing remember always oxygenated blood is flowed through the left side and deoxygenated blood through the right side so first the oxygenated blood through this pulmonary veins. There are four pulmonary veins are present through this pulmonary veins. Comes to the left auricle. Then through the, uh, okay. And deoxygenated blood comes to the right auricle. Now see the arrows, okay. In this way it comes to the auricle to ventricle and similarly from left auricle to left ventricle now through the left ventricle the blood goes to all over the body at is uh, as it is oxygenated blood and deoxygenated blood through the pulmonary artery goes to the lungs for purification the similar structure is just like this there are four chamber, left auricle, right auricle, left ventricle, right ventricle. Blood, oxygenated blood comes to the left auricle, then to the left ventricle. Deoxygenated blood comes to the right auricle, then to the right ventricle. And finally, from the left ventricle, it goes to the, all over the body and from the Right ventricle is goes to the lungs for purification. This is the total blood circulation cycle and the function of heart. So this is all about the circulatory system. Next see the excretory system. Excretory system involves four organs, a pair of kidney, a pair of ureter, a urinary bladder, and a urethra. First see the structure of kidney. Bean shaped structure covered by a tough translucent membrane and each kidney is supplied with a large renal artery and a renal vein. This is renal artery, this is renal vein. Same function of artery and vein. 
oxygenated blood comes to the artery uh, comes to the kidney through renal artery and goes through the renal vein main function of kidney is to purify the blood next from the purified blood comes to the urinary bladder through this ureter and sorry i have said wrong so first blood is purified in the kidney then it forms urine this urine is carried through the ureter to the urinary bladder not blood urine is carried to the urinary bladder through this ureter then it is temporarily stored in the urinary bladder and finally expels out through this urethra so this is the function of an uh, total excretory system okay see next all the organs brain spinal cord testes ovary all the structure and function we have already learned in the first portion of this chapter so we can say this chapter is completed in next step we will solve the question answer thank you